What's up with it, y'all? It's our first video today. We're doing a, a Q and A. We also got some tools to give out the Q and A mukbang. We really, we really excited because it's our first video. We're real hype for it. Right. <laughs> so we finally here with our very first video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope this allows you guys to get to know us a little better, just a little bit more. In case you didn't know, my name is Mama Kyra. I got that name from TikTok, aka Kyra Love. Is what you guys can also call me. My name is Chris, but I also go by Little Cheeks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't know, this is my son, and I'm his mother. I'm his mother, and this is my son. You know, for the slow catchers and everything. So, what we're doing today, like he said, we was going to do a mukbang, and then we got somebody behind the camera, and they're going to ask us our questions. We got Chick-fil-A. Before we get started, let's get this food opened up. Let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. That's some chicken nuggets. These yours, though. Yeah, these my chicken nuggets. I just got a little bit of chicken nuggets. I don't want a sandwich this time. I just got chicken nuggets. These are chicken tenders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This chicken sandwich is actually real good. Deluxe chicken sandwich. Nice. Little fry. Chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. Chicken nuggets. Mm -hmm. How do you even say this? Polynesian sauce? Polynesian sauce. sauce. This is my favorite sauce from Chick-fil-A besides the Chick-fil-A sauce. So. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna wait for our cameraman to ask the questions. All right, so let's get right into it. So we're gonna start off with Mama Kyra on the first question. The first question is, Mama Kyra, do you, how many kids do you have? Is Chris your only child? You starting out with a, a you know, that's the question. You getting all the information real fast. How many kids do Mama Kyra have? Um, Prince is my oldest child. I have four kids, two girls and two boys, and Chris is my oldest child. I got a question for um, Chris. What's your favorite meal your mom cooked? Favorite meal? Well, that's hard. Mm. Alfredo. It's chicken Alfredo. Alfredo, you be blessed. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Chicken Alfredo. I really love that. Chris, also, what's your goals for you and your mom on TikTok? I want to be the, the, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the biggest ever, the biggest YouTuber ever. I want to be bigger than bigger. 100, 100 million subscribers, the biggest. Mm. All I wanted All was a new to house. To the moon. <laughs> That's all I wanted. I'm going to stop now. I'll go to the moon. Okay. What's motivate you, Chris? I want to thank me. Um, I want to take care of my family. Just, you know, I want to see bigger things. Where you from, Chris? Where I'm from? I, got a, I think I did tell you I did some TikTok, but I was born in Detroit and I pretty much like raised in Arizona. I moved to Detroit when I was when I was like six. Yeah, I think I was six. I just been. I, I go to Detroit every summer though, so I'm kind of like from both places for real. Yeah. Mama Kyra, how you feel about being a young mom? Um, right now, if you, right now today, as you ask me that question, it feels uh, it feels good for me. But back then, when I was actually a young mom, it was it was a lot. It was a lot to deal with. It was discouraging. I had a lot of ups and downs. But like today, I'm happy where I'm at, and I'm happy, you know, with my parenting. I'm happy to be a mom. I'm happy I can keep up with my kids. I'm not old or nothing like that. So it feels good, but I don't recommend people to go out there and make kids at a young age. How do you handle negative comments on TikTok? How do I handle negative comments on TikTok? Yes. Um, at first, I used to be stressed out and worried about them because it was like, we just used to be posting videos and everybody wasn't really believing that I was his mama, but they used to say like weird, nasty stuff. So basically how I've been dealing with, how I deal with negative comments is basically just don't read them or don't take anything too personal or I talk to my husband about it. That's what I've been doing lately. How do you um, manage your life, real life and social media, Mama Kyra? 
How do I manage real life and social media? Yeah. Time management is everything. With me having four kids, so it's like I have to literally plan ahead and like plan my time around. So social media, I have that managed and I have that set for a certain time. And then at, right after I'm done recording videos, it's back to my real life. It's back to me taking care of my kids, picking up kids from school, cooking, being a good wife, things like that. So I feel like right now I'm handling it pretty well, you know, so. What's your sign? Gemini gang all day. I'm for sure a Gemini. Both of us Gemini's. What one of your biggest pet peeves about Chris? My biggest pet peeve about Chris? Um that he lazy. I'm <laughs> lazy. <laughs> he lazy. Yes, um, he's very lazy. No, I think to I'm not lazy. to me, I feel like he you know what? I don't even know. My biggest pet peeve probably would be that he, sometimes he act like he unmotivated. I don't like that. And I'd be having to break down to him a thousand reasons why he should be more motivated and why he can do this and that. He can do anything he put his mind to. So that's really my biggest pet peeve is him not really knowing himself, believing in himself, being unmotivated, and being lazy. I got a question for both of you guys. Uh, how you feel about how your your TikTok taking off? You know, I think y'all got like what seventy k now, seventy two k. So y'all got a little fan base right now. So how do y'all deal with when fans coming up? Y'all like take pictures with them, talk with them. How how y'all feel about having fans? What's up? Cause I think that I picture. I definitely give you a picture. We definitely don't like to be bougie, arrogant, or anything like that. We very humble. So if a fan was to see us out and about, we'd definitely take pictures. That's like my thing. I'm gonna be like, hey, you know, very cool, very down to earth, and I don't have a problem with taking pictures with fans. What do you love about being a mom? Mm, the biggest thing thus far about being a mom that I love so much is seeing them grow up. Cause just like, it seemed like just yesterday, they were just so small, you know, and I was struggling. Now today, I literally did everything I had to do to be able to see them grow up in a comfortable, you know, a comfortable living situation. They don't have to worry about anything. They go to great schools and we live in a great community. So my biggest thing is definitely watching them grow up. Who is the best um, hip hop artist right now, female wise? Nicki Minaj. Don't play no games. Nicki mm -hmm. Minaj. <laughs> Chris, I got a question for you. Um, mm -hmm. What music do you listen to right now? Right now? Young boy, I'm sorry, y'all, but get it dope for real, young boy. We figured that. Yeah. Hmm. Figured, young boy. We figured that. <laughs> I don't care what nobody say. Young boy is the greatest rapper of all time. I don't care. I argue with him. I don't care. So you saying, young boy better than little baby? Yes. Yes. I know that. You don't think that. Mm. <laughs> All the, the little girls that's following you, um, they want to know. They want to know. Do you got a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a girlfriend. Y'all, I'm sorry. I know y'all mad, but not a girlfriend. Will you ever uh, prank your mama again? Oh, uh, no. Okay. Hey, comment down below some ideas for me to prank her. I got y'all. Yeah. Okay. Y'all gonna get him messed up. We going crazy. <laughs> so where do you see yourself in five years? In five years? Well, I think in five years, we, we probably have to hit a, um, a, a million subscribers by five years. And I, I see myself in the big house in five years. I see myself at the top in five years. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. for it. What's some thing that you like to do on your all time without TikTok? Me? Uh, well, I, don't, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but I actually play basketball. Yeah, I did. Yeah, hooper. So who the, who the greatest player of all time right now? Playing in the NBA. That's in the NBA right now? Yes. In the NBA right now? Probably Steph or, or KD, one of them. You got to pick one. So which one will you choose? Well, I think NBA right now, really LeBron, because he, he, he wants 40 still better than most players in the NBA. That's crazy. I got your brown, for real. What's your like your favorite color? Like you know, they want they want to give you a gift. What's your favorite color? Like, 
day, you know. Black, black or red, one of those. My favorite colors. So, see, I got it on right now. Black or red. But if you had to choose one, which one would it be? Black. <laughs> Why black? It's just, you go in it's just a smooth color. Like, I don't know. I, I, I want to get a black car pull up and black and say that's hard. So. Yeah. <laughs> that's hard. That's hard. <laughs> You was something else. You had your license? I've been trying to get it. She wanna put me in the driver's training class, y'all. See, she's something I can drive. He can drive. I taught him how to drive, but I think he just be moving too fast. So we gonna wait a little bit. If you had to describe your mom in one word, what would it be? One word? Yeah. Give me two words. One. No, I want to say loving and hard working though, cause like, you know, she, she be she she do this TikTok and he do stuff, but y'all need to see what she doing behind the cameras. Like she be taking care of our kids, doing this and that. She she be going to work like this, it's crazy. She, yeah, she be working hard. <laughs> your father, what what's one word you describe your father? Talk about my father. Um, Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm just let y'all know. I'm just, I'm just let y'all know. He he in prison right now. He's been in prison like almost my whole life. I'm not gonna really be you know, shy about the situation, but like you know, I call him Karen because you know, like even though he in prison, he still be making money from prison and sending me money from prison. He still, he still take care of me from prison basically. I can understand that. Yeah, so yeah, so I, so I respect him for that. Mm -hmm. That's true. You say your, your father in prison right now. What is one thing you want to do once you get out with him? I'm going to play basketball with him. Because y'all always been the sport. He was the best player back in the day. I want, I want to play with him. That's one thing I want to do. So in the next five years also, where you want to see yourself in the next five years as far as living? Like what state that you want to move to? Mm, it's, it's three options. Right now I live in Arizona. So I probably move to Scottsdale. I'll probably move season to Scottsdale, or I'll probably move to LA, like you know, Hollywood, or or, or Texas. Or, or the side of those. I don't really know. What part of Texas? Houston, for sure. Houston. What type of food you be cooking on your own? Like you like to eat <laughs> when your mom is not cooking? Y'all, I do not know how to cook at all. The best I can miss is a box of cereal or some toaster screws out the, out the toaster. I'm like, I know that right now. I can't cook. At all. I be trying to teach him, but he don't be listening. These kids don't be listening to nothing. I barely like make some, make some noodles. I ain't gonna lie to you. Y'all been working with Rockstar. Who else do y'all want to work with in the near future? First of all, shout out to Rockstar because they really look out for us. We've been rocking with them before we started TikTok. So Rockstar is like literally one of our favorite brands. Like they really come through with the drip and everything. Yeah, I got it on right now. Got, got the rock star on right now. We really, right the now. whole family, not just me and Chris, we really rock rock star all day. I would like to work with next. I'm gonna aim for Fashion Nova. Yeah, I was about to say that too, Fashion Nova. I'm gonna aim for Fashion Nova. Cause the biggest of the biggest work with Fashion Nova and I'm gonna be one of those people next. What do you do as far as on your, on your spare time? What else would you like to do? besides being a mom and doing TikTok? Um, what I do is, my career is I'm a makeup artist. So that's what I do. I'm a makeup artist located in the Phoenix area, Arizona. Um, I've been doing that for like, I wanna say I've been doing that for like six years now. So it's been a very long time. So I'm very experienced with that. My clientele base has grew a lot over the years in Arizona. So that's really good, I do that. That's exactly what I do. Eventually, hopefully, I can stop doing that soon and just become full time an influencer with, with Chris. And we'll just see how I go, though. So, at the moment, you still doing makeup or are you just doing TikTok with Chris? At the moment, I still do makeup on the weekends. Mama Kyra, um, who do you want to meet, famous wise? Who you want to meet? One of the person you want to meet in person? Be, you know what? I'm just gonna hit a rock with Cash Doll. I want to meet Cash Doll because I feel like we be matching energies and stuff, and I don't even know her. We're from the same city. I like her energy, 
and everything. I listen to her music, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say I want to be cash out. Even though that's a little ghetto, but look, I want to be cash out. Chris, what do who you want to see? Like who you want to meet? One person you want to just you know just we chill with. We already know who he want to meet. Y'all already know who I've been saying. The, the go himself, the NBA young boy. For sure. So, Mama Kyle, where you want to live at in the next five years? Like, where you see yourself at? Where you want to be at in five years? Where you want to stay at? Like, what state? Mm, so, right now, I'm doing a lot of things that make sense. Like, if it don't make sense, it really just don't really matter to me right now. So, me even doing all this is, is because I want to elevate and go somewhere else. So, I, want, I think I want to go. If I stay in Arizona, it'll probably have to be somewhere like Scottsdale on the mountains. But if I don't stay in Arizona, I would probably either move to Texas or back to Michigan in, in a nice area. Make sure y'all together. What do y'all want to reveal you you guys' age right now, or you want to wait? 